Hello, my name is Andrea Atwood. I'm a nurse practitioner. I'm going to perform a physical exam on Rick. I washed my hands just prior to coming into the room. We're going to do a uh, head to toe with physical assessment on you today. Do you have any questions or concerns about the procedure? Oh. Okay. Rick is a well nourished uh, male who um, is alert and oriented to person, place, time, and situation. Um, we did vital signs earlier. He is six foot tall, weighs 210 pounds. Heart rate is 62, respirations of 18. And his blood pressure was 112 over 64. Looking at him, he is not in any sort of distress. Seems to be pretty relaxed. Uh, no signs of circumoral cyanosis, labored breathing, or uh, pain or anything along that line. Looking at his head, we have um, it's proportion to his size and it's normocephalic. This time I want to inspect his scalp, check him for lesions, masses, lumps, any tenderness, any tenderness, and nope. scaling. His hair uh, seems to be healthy, not falling out, not dry. Filling his sternomastoid down, checking his trapezius, and it's nice and firm muscle tone and symmetrical. Looking at his neck, his trachea is midline, and upon palpation, I do not palpate any masses, no thyroid amygdala. Checking carotids, it's a plus two, and a plus two. I'm going to check your TMJ, if I'll open and close your mouth. No clicking, no popping noted there. Okay, can you open your mouth? And don't let me close it. Okay, good. Now, if you close your eyes, tell me whenever I touch your face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 And that checks for cranial nerve <coughs> number five. We'll put your tongue to cheek. And here, okay, checks cranial nerve number seven, 12. Can you smile really big for me? And frown. And raise and lower your eyebrows. Thank you. That checks for cranial number seven. If you'll shrug your shoulders, that checks for cranial nerve number 11. Can you sniff this? And what does it smell like? Experiment. All right, and that checks for cranial nerve number 1. Looking at his um, mouth, his lips are nice and moist, a uh, good color, does not appear to be dehydrated. If you'll open your mouth for me, okay, and move your tongue up and down and side to side. I don't see any lesions underneath his tongue. His dentition looks good. His gums cut, uh, collar of his teeth. Can you stick your tongue out and say ah? Uh. Okay, his uvula moves midline and that checks for cranial nerves 9 <coughs> and 10. His hard and soft palate were also nice and intact. And his pharynx also had a good pink um, and moist. Okay, looking at his nose, it's good, a symmetrical, um, straight line, uh, palpated. Is there any tenderness with that? No. Nope. I don't feel anything abnormal. Can you occlude one nostril and breathe in and out? Okay, anything? Problems there, breathing nope. in and out? No, okay. All right, and we're going to look at his ears. It's at a level with the canthus of the eye. It's within uh, 10 degrees uh, vertical. I'm going to inspect it at this time, looking for lesions or fissures or anything abnormal, and it looks good, healthy, and intact. Any tenderness when I pull back here? No. And pushing on your tragus? No. Okay. I don't see any drainage or obstruction in your canal. And I'm going to palpate this pre oracle and post oracle And there is a slight lymph node back there. Is that tender? No. Okay. Coming over to this side, once again, can't this is level with the eye. Ear is uh, nice and vertical within 10 degrees. Inspecting the skin. I don't see any lesions or fissures or anything abnormal. Any tenderness when I do this? No. How about when I push on your tray? No. there. All right, and I want to check his pre and post oracle lymph nodes there. And they feel fine. Any tenderness when I do that? Mm -hmm. This time I'll move palpate his occipital lymph nodes and his post cervical. Or posterior cervical and anterior cervical lymph nodes. 
into your cervical on this side and posterior cervical on this side. Okay, any problems there? Help your Superior and subclavicular. Like that's on each side. And I didn't feel any swelling or any nodules or anything. Was there any tenderness with that palpation? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. <coughs> then looking at your eyes. His uh, pupils are nice and round. Irises are blue. His um, sclera is white. Checking your conjunctiva here. And it is good and pink on each side, indicating no anemia. Eyebrows are nice and full and symmetrical, and his eyelashes look good and intact as well. Going to shine a light in your eye. And a nice and brisk reaction there. Okay, I want you to follow my finger. Okay, and that checks for cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6. Okay, this time I would like you to include one ear. And I'm going to whisper some words in your ears if you could repeat those for me, please. Busy pirate in forest. Okay, and you want to do the same thing on this side. Lion-hearted puppy. Good. And that was a normal whisper test. If that had been abnormal, we could have used a tuning fork and um, put it on the top of his head doing the Weber test. And if he could hear it on both sides, that would have been a normal finding. Or if he could only hear it on one side, that would have indicated an inflammation on one side or the other. Which was something I was concerned about since he did have the lymph node on the other side. Okay. This time... I'm going to move to your back. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and let it out. And that was good symmetrical rise and fall. His AP portion, uh, proportion is 1 to 2, which is good. Nice and healthy. Now listen to your lungs on the back. I want you to take good deep breaths. Again. Good deep breath again. And one last time. Great. And he was good and clear to oscillation, no bronchi, rails, or wheezing of herd. Okay. I'm going to check his CVA. Any tenderness when I do this? No. And how about on this side? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. I'm going to listen to you on the front side now. Now listen to your carotids. Good. No bruise hurt. Take a good deep breath. And once again, it was nice and clear. Okay. You can lie back on me at this point. I'm going to listen to his heart tones at this time. I'm going to go to the second intercostal space and listening to the apical or the aortic valve. Second intercostal space on the left. Listening to the pulmonic valve. Third intercostal space, listening to herbs point. Fifth intercostal space, listening to the tricuspid valve. And more lateral, listening to the mitral valve. Since I have a cardiology stethoscope, by changing the pressure on the diaphragm, you can go into the bell mode. So we'll listen again. Aortic. Pulmonic. 
Herb's point. Tricaster. And my travel. A nice and clear S1, S2, no murmurs or rubs were heard. Okay, I want to palpate at this time over those same areas. Point, the tricuspid, moving over to the fifth of the point of maximum impact, and the mitral valve. Okay. I want to raise your shirt up. Looking at his abdomen, I don't see any pulsations or uh, any umbilical hernias, any masses. Everything looks nice and symmetrical and smooth. Color is good. I'm going to listen. Starting at the right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant. Left lower quadrant. And right lower quadrant. And we have normal active bowel sounds. If he hadn't had bowel sounds, I would have had to have listened for five minutes in order to determine that they were absent. I'm going to listen to the aorta now. Followed by the renal arteries. Tenderness. I'm following along the transverse colon right now. Here's the descending colon. And here's the ascending colon goes up this way. And the appendix could be in that area as well. Everything looks good. Do you have a nice deep breath? And I'm going to dive in whenever you let it out. And I'm trying to feel for the liver at this time. Okay. Again. And this would be more of the pancreas and gallbladder area. Okay. And here we will be checking for more of the spleen. All right. Good. This could be more of the kidneys. And a female, it could be where you could check for the uh, ovaries. Deep breath. And a female, this could have been where you would check for the uterus. Mm -hmm. you just check intestines. Okay, deep breath. And this would be for the kidney as well. They were an ovary on a female. All right, great. No tenderness there, no problems? All right, thank you. Can you feel my tincture arm here? Mm -hmm. And how about here? Mm -hmm. Were they the same? Mm -hmm. Okay. Checking your radial. And your radial pulse here. Good and strong two plus and your ulnar pulse. Okay. His skin is nice and intact. Good color on his uh, upper arms. Uh, cap refill is less than two. And on the um, right hand, the fourth finger, there is a bruised area on that digit that looks like it has... Uh, Suffered some trauma recently. Okay. Checking your legs. Do you feel me touch you here? Mm -hmm. And how about here? Right. Okay. Was it equal? Did it yep. feel the same? Mm -hmm. Okay. Checking your dorsalis pedis. And good. Two plus on both. Your posterior tibial. Good. Two plus. And once again, good cap refill. Okay. We you pull up and push down. Great. Okay. This time I'm going to have you try to bend your knee. Good. And again here. Good deal. Okay. 
And lift your leg up. And your knee. And don't, uh, try and straighten your leg. Good job. Good strength there. And we'll do the same thing here. Straight up. Bend your knee. And try and straighten it. Okay, good job. Good strength. Okay. At this point, we're going to bend it up. And do external rotation. Internal rotation. I'm going to straighten it out. Abduction. Abduction, crossing the midline. Alright. And the same thing on this side. Bend your leg. External rotation. Internal rotation. Straight out. Abduction and adduction, crossing the midline. Excellent. Okay. You will uh, sit on the edge of the bed for me, please. <coughs> Stick your arms out for me, please. Okay. And uh, press down on my hands. Good. And pull up. Ah. Strong. All right. Try and straighten your arm. Okay. Now bend it towards you. Okay. Good. Strong pulses or strength there. And same thing here. Good. And right. Good. Good. And stretch. Can you hold your fingers out like this? Don't let me push them together. Okay, good finger strength as well. Okay, and squeeze my hands. Hard, good, strong, equal grips. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna check your pulses, or your reflexes. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that one's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, if you stand up for me, please. Okay, close your eyes. Can you close your arms up? Close your eyes. All right, touch your nose with this finger. Perfect. Touch your nose with this finger. Perfect, thank you. Right. You walk toward me for just a second. Would you choose? Would you choose? Would, would you walk <laughs> your normal gait toward the dresser? All right, stop, turn around, and walk back to me on your tiptoes. Perfect. Okay, turn around and walk back on your heels. Excellent. And walk back toward me just a couple of steps. Oh, I'm sorry, step back. I forgot what I was doing. I want you to do a uh, heel to toe walk back toward me. Excellent. Now if you can, I know this is kind of hard, you might want to take another step or so back and uh, squat down and do, and do a duck walk for about two to three steps for me, please. Good job. Thank you very much. And over. All right. And I'm looking at his, your spine here, filling it up. Is there any tenderness with that? No. And whenever I palpate up your spine, is there any tenderness? No. Okay, and watching you stand up, I'm checking for kyphosis and scoliosis, and it looks very normal. All right, thank you very much. Excellent exam.